Hi, it's me again with Corel to Old Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me two files. They sent me a Corel file and a DXF file. And this is for a plasma cutter, but it might help laser engraver too. We're going to compare these two. And if we look at that, the DXF file looks like a good font. The, the Corel, everything is totally different. The L is not square. The A doesn't even look like the A. Uh... It has a lot of nodes, and in plasma cutting, uh, these nodes can be fixed. Now, if you take the shape tool for the one I'm doing it for, if you look at it just, it's got a bunch of broken lines. That's a no-no in plasma cutting. So the first thing we're going to do is smart fill it. We're going to use, we'll use red, and we're going to smart fill that, and then we're going to move it up out of the way. And we're going to left click, right click in red and make sure it's a hairline. He's brand new to Kirill. So now we can look at it and look at the nodes. Uh, in plasma cutting, there's some nodes that um, can really be detrimental. Or not really detrimental. They slow down your machine. These are basically two straight lines. So we're going to take all four of those and hit delete. We're going to take these and hit delete. We're going to delete these three nodes. We're going to delete that one. We're going to delete this one. Now, you can see kind of a curve there. We're going to, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and select these three nodes. And I'm going to right click and turn them into a line. And look at that, it put it back. Now I can go over here and delete all these nodes. Delete all these nodes to see it did the same thing making that a curve, but look, I mean, on some curves, you can't get away, but we could probably get rid of these two nodes without changing the shape. We can probably get rid of that node without changing the shape. A plasma cutter cuts between, goes from nodes to node. I'm going to once again, hold down the Alt key and select these two, and I'm going to right click and convert this to a line. Same thing on the top of this, I'm going to delete probably maybe all three of these on top. Change it up just a little bit. You can delete that node in the middle. A node between two curved nodes is okay. You know, you don't want to have that. This is pretty little. This is only two inches tall. That's a lot to ask your plasma cutter to cut so closely and, and go from node to node. Lasering, doesn't really matter. But I would just go through and, del and delete nodes. You think, well, maybe that'll work. That one will work. That one will work. This one won't work because it changed the shape. It actually could work. But get rid of those double nodes. We've already done a lot with that. Um, you know, one thing I would have suggested maybe before I started doing this is, you know, like get rid of those nodes. They didn't change the shape because the other two nodes are holding the curve. You know, you've got to have some curvature nodes, but we're not changing the shape. We're going to change the shape this time, but just a little bit. So let's back up and just delete this one. You know, that node, the nodes, but you know, especially on ones that are so many nodes. Now we've kind of messed that up, but if we hold down the alt key, the reason I'm doing that, so I won't get any other nodes, and I'm going to right click the mouse and turn them into a line. So it made that kind of straight. Make all, you know, this type look doesn't, kind of does good in, in, in uh, plasma cutting. So maybe you didn't want to do that little swipe or that little, you know, leave that kind of like that. I would much further have that than a sharp corner. But in that case, it just looked kind of funny. So we're almost through here and I should have deleted some nodes to begin with. So let's just do that. Let's, so I'm deleting nodes that are between two other nodes that I think will not affect. See, if we delete those nodes, we're going to lose this little whoop to do but we can delete one of those nodes. You know, maybe delete, that's a straight line. We can swipe through there and right click and turn it into a line. Now, I'm actually going to bring this back in. I'm going to import the DXF again and 
try something else. I'm importing it automatically, English, um, automatically reduced nodes, but it doesn't really do that a lot. But what we can do now, look at the, okay, let's just do this. Let's count 70 nodes, 70 objects, 106 nodes. We'll actually have to group this together to find out. So let's just do that. Let's do the same thing with the Smart Fill tool. Move it over, and now we can left click, right click, and black, just so it'll be a different. 175 nodes on seven, uh, seven subpaths. The one I was working on just has 106 nodes, so we deleted 70 nodes. But what we could do to just to try this is select all the nodes. Go right up here to your curve smoothest, and let's try 20. It changed it up a little bit. It changed it up, and to me, almost cutting it out almost neatly, kind of neat. Let's do let's do half those. You don't have to go 20. You can go 10. Didn't change it up too much. You've got some curves here now, but look at the amount of nodes. There's only 68 nodes now. It took away a lot of those nodes, and we could still take away more. You know, there's a double node right there. I kind of like, you know, he has some arch here. Why not have some arch up top? I'm not suggesting he do this, but it's just an option. You'll have a lot less nodes. Let's take away a few more, and then we're going to actually take this file and, and you know, leave that slope or, yeah, I would leave that slope because we're kind of sloping everything. But look at the difference. I don't, there's a couple more we could delete. You know, 62 nodes compared to what we had 175. Um, now let's try deleting all this. And hopefully you're not, this is real little. I mean, for a plasma cutter, um, you know, two inches is really small. That's a lot of cutting. I'm not saying you can't do it. I don't like cutting those smaller cuts out of such a small area. Because if you look with the parallel dimension tool, well, that's a quarter inch apart. So maybe it'll work. Now, Let's try this. There's nothing. I'm going to hit F4, proving there's nothing else on the page. I'm going to go to export. And, you know, really, I don't even export anymore. Save as. He's using 2023. We're going to put it in pictures, and I'm going to call it DXF Doug. And go right here to DXF AutoCAD. Press Save. Curve, these, I don't really, you know, you could change the AutoCAD version, the color, but it doesn't really matter. As long as this is a hairline. Now, let's import that same file. I'm going to right-click the mouse, import, DXF, Doug, import it, and look at that. Now, well, we have open nodes. That should not happen. I don't know why that's happening, but if you get, now you can tell they're open nodes because you can see arrows on top of arrows. You could do one of two things. One of them you could smart fill like we did earlier, but you could also go to Dockers, Join Curves, and I've got mine, I can set it on point two, hit apply, and it joined all the curves, so now it's all one piece. And if you look, there are only, why is it saying seven objects? Well, the other, there, it's counting the inside objects. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's counting the objects, so you'd have to probably group it together Let's just, let's try that with a smart field tool. 
see if it makes a difference. Let's left click, right click in red this time. We've got seven or 62 nodes compared to 175, and it looks really good. You've got a little bit of a slope to your letters. Um, you know, this one, you could make it straight if you wanted, but keep, you know, keep it going. But the, the corner nodes is the most important thing. When your plasma cutter is going from node to node, and, you know, basically a laser does too, but a plasma cutter is so hot burning that metal. I'm not saying a laser is not hot or a CO2 laser is not that hot. That's how I would do it, and I would run this file with quite a bit of confidence. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.